Welcome to the Effects Loop. I'm Diaz. I'm Scott. We're keeping you in the loop of the guitar community. This episode is brought to you by Electromotive Sound Co. Go check out electromotivesound.com. They've got a killer... Do they have the phaser up for sale? No, they don't. They don't? Okay. Well, if you ever find one, get one. They also have an amazing Clone V3. Even though Ben doesn't think that Bad Out of Hell is a perfect album, which it is, you should still support him. Yeah, I'm going to blast him on that. Oh, yeah. So we talked about it a few, uh, I mean, a, a, a little while back about perfect albums. And I, I think I was kind of waffling on Bad Out of Hell by Meatloaf. And I was listening to it. I, I started listening to it yesterday and I was telling the girlfriend, I was like, listen, I was like, this is one of the first CDs I ever had. I was like, this is an amazing album. I mean, it's very and formative it's, for you. Huh? It's very formative for you. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's just, it's a great album. It like Jim Steinman did an amazing job, uh, me, you know, writing it. Um, and, and some of the people on there are just phenomenal. But um, Todd Rundgren, I don't know how to pronounce his name correctly. From Screaming but, you know, Trees? I, I, don't, I don't know if he's from Screaming Trees, but he's a guitar player for that, like, was in a lot of progressive music. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He produced that album and played guitar on it. And, and honestly, like, the guitar work on that album is phenomenal for guitar players. I mean, the keyboard work, the keyboards were done, or the pianos were done by the piano player for the east street band oh um i can't remember his name off the top of my head i believe it is something like last name is britain or it's uh, a roy batan um and then i mean and they got meatloaf edgar winter played saxophone on there like you just got killer stuff so top to bottom amazing album so i don't think that's todd rundgren who am i thinking of i don't know who's the screaming trees guy trees mark numbers. lanigan is who i was thinking of uh, okay that's a vocalist yeah he was he also did queens of stone age and a few other things like uh, that. he was in that circle oh okay but yeah all right anywho amazing album still go support ben at electromotive sound co I mean, also he, you know who's also been doing the the perfect albums thing has been uh, phillips really embraced it really over at 40 watt yeah oh, his patreon episodes has been running through that lately that's been kind of oh, his, like nice he's been going through like the top fives with people oh that's cool and so you saw um alex from uh copper sound was on there he just had um zach from mythos so like yeah there's been some good interviews and it's kind of fun seeing how those albums line up with like oh yeah that that kind of fits their brand because like you know alex is like super 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 into jack white and like all the more it makes it cool how like like the triple graph is like a thing he did with jack so like that's a just really yeah. cool for him anyway um let's see yeah so uh also check out 50 watt and then if you want to be a supporter of our show watt and get paid, yeah 50 watt the 50 watt um, podcast because now he plays a two rock so Six, 60 cycle podcast yeah. uh 60 watt um no just kidding 40 watt podcast go check out them uh and check out their patreon episodes for that or you can check some of our patreon episodes go to patreon.com slash the effects loop you get a little uh inside looks into our lives and stuff that we say that we don't usually say on the air um and uh you also get to join the chat room on a certain level yeah so like uh, is it like if i remember right it's like any any support level gets the extra episode um and those come out you know right when i post them so you get the episode early uh, if we ever add ads to it like you know you'll get it at it will still be ad free on the patreon feed too so yeah but the five dollar levels when you get the you get that <laughs> chat life yeah all right so scott what's new with you dude it's been a journey um we've had we, we took a week off we've been we've been kind of being a little space we've both been very busy in our personal lives yeah a lot so of like stuff so going on yeah so last week i had surgery on uh got my deviated septum repaired and i had some other work in my nose done so i've been 
I've been in recovery uh, for the last week from that. You can probably still really hear. I haven't gotten my nasal packing out yet, so like that's that's going on. I can't really breathe through my nose yet. Um, but in the meantime, I got some cool stuff. So first one is I got my in-ear monitors back from uh, JH Audio. They've had them for since April in for a repair. Uh, I, I, I had a cable break a pin off in the in the socket and so i had to get that repaired so that those took a while i'm glad i had a backup pair um but good to have those back finally after a couple months of waiting for those and then in the midst of all this i bought a i bought a new amp after much discussion about said amp i've been tracking them for a while um so i bought a dr z z rec uh half quarter stack it's a <coughs> head and cab but it's a two by twelve so finally got that in. Um, so the fun story about that is uh, I, I found one on Facebook Marketplace a while back and made an offer to a guy, and he's like, "Oh man, I just sold it. Sorry, Ugh. right?" And Ugh. I was like, yeah, "Dang, the worst. I, I missed the deal." And like whatever, but I was also like, "All right, I don't need, I don't need, I can walk away." But it was like it was such a good deal. This guy was asking for this price because it's in the the silver finish with the wood, which is what I really oh, yeah. wanted. Um, Instead of the plain black. So uh, just randomly, it showed up back in my feed. Uh, like, hey, you were looking at these things. Or like, I, I just did another Facebook search. And the same guy showed up. And I was the like, deal fell through. Yeah, so the deal fell through for the guy. Or like, he bought it back. Or something happened where he caught it back from the guy. Yeah. Um, and so I reached out. I was like, all right, hey, man. Like, did this fall through? Like, what's going on? He's like, yeah. You, you. And he lowered his price again. Because he's trying to sell this thing. So now it's at a price yeah. for the head. Basically, it was the head and cab at what I was hoping to get the head at. Nice. So, um, it's in Cincinnati, and I'm like, okay, okay. And this is the day before surgery. So, like, it was kind of like an unhealthy distraction in some ways of, like, me avoiding stress or whatever. So, mm-hmm. I'm sitting there. I'm like, who do I know in Cincinnati because I'm not driving out to pick that up anytime soon, and I want to lock this How far down. of a drive is Cincinnati? It's about six hours from Chicago. <laughs> okay so like if i did it i could stop and like i, I could have stopped in indianapolis and visited some friends because like i went to school not too far from indianapolis you know some of that kind of stuff uh but uh turns out i have a buddy from chicago who's now moved back to Indi- cincinnati oh gosh so i get him to help facilitate the, the the pickup and i was like all right cool he'll just do the pickup or whatever and they set it for the day i'm getting my surgery <laughs> Is when they are both free oh. to do the pickup, and so, oh man! So I'm sitting there like watching the thread and waiting for surgery, and I, I was supposed to have an eleven and thirty in the morning operation, and they didn't get me in until like twelve thirty one. Yeah. So I'm sitting there like, oh no, oh no, am I going to be like not available? Can I not do it? Because like, I was basically having my buddy there to see if it was real, because the price still felt a little too good to be true, and I'm not. Do we have a Craig? Is there a, is there a Facebook Marketplace power of attorney? uh because <laughs> that's what you need <laughs> yeah like, listen you, you are acting in my best interest right now please. well like because also like we were like I, <laughs> what i really should have just done is given my buddy the money and just let him handle it but like we were just doing a direct thing um yeah and so i come up well, i did it. that i did that for will one time um uh be a broker is, yeah well we also had that with uh Tom Kelly had that with uh, Kyle McIntyre. Yeah, yeah, his definitely. Amp. So anyway, so I I went down <laughs> into anesthesia, come out. I have a missing call from both people. Mm-hmm. And oh, uh, okay, yeah, my computer went to sleep for a second there, so I was like, oh no, uh, uh, don't do I, it. Everything's don't do okay. it. Everything's okay. So okay. I come out with calls from both of them. They, turns out they decided they were going to meet at UPS themselves. So now I have to get shipping labels to my body. Because I thought he was just going to hold on to it for a day or two before shipping it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am literally on my way from the like in discharge and on the way home from the hospital, like brokering all these things, like still kind of coming down from anesthesia because I had a really rough go with the anesthesia. Just, you showed you totally should have just given him the money. <laughs> I should have just given him the money, but all in all, um, shipped it. It's here. Packing job was not great, but everything survived and everything's here. If you're in the Facebook group, you can see a video that right. shows the packing job, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it's literally the studio slip in a cardboard box. Yeah. Listen, I've done some like questionable shipping 
before. But yeah, I mean, I, just I think part of it, like, it was just heavy enough in the box that it survived. But like, man, yeah, yeah. I, I, we got it's crazy, lucky. but it's here. It's here. It's working. It's way too loud for an apartment. I got to throw an attenuator on it. I can't really lift it still. So I'm not do you not have to... one sitting around. Uh, I do. It's in an amp. I was about to say, I feel like that's like something that you would have sitting around. Yeah, I actually like have a Dr. Z one. one. Um, it's been in my... Oh, oh. I've had that for that's ages. That's what the Z-Brake? Yeah, the, the brake light. Brake light, okay. So um, I'll hook that up at some point when I'm able to lift things because like the amps are in storage. And I mm. I was able to kind of slide the Z-Rack into my house, but I, I can't like just outright... <laughs> I'm not supposed to outright lift until I have all the stitches out and everything. So right, I'm waiting. Right. You, don't, you don't need to blow a stitch over a guitar amp. No, especially when you blow a stitch in your nose, not in the mood to do it. Oh, um, that'd be crazy. Because my nose has just uh, been bleeding for like four days. So like I don't I don't need that. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah. Anyway, that's my crazy deal. You also have a good story, so I'm gonna let you talk. Yeah, oh you got your in your monitors back. Did you mention that? Yeah, started the story with that. You were dealing with her about uh, Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so the toddler's back. Um all right, so uh Diaz actually had a crazy deal that happened. Um I need to stop telling people that I have a podcast because then I talk about the deals um, and, and I kind of feel bad, but I don't really. Um, this was really I mean, just a, this, a, this one was a win-win. It really was a win-win in the sense of um, he. So I was scrolling Facebook Marketplace, just kind of uh, farting around. I've had my stomp up for sale because I could use the cash inflow. And I've also thought about going to a, a just a Helix floor or a quad cortex, something bigger that can and that has more power instead of trying to do a hybrid board um i've decided hybrid's not really i'd I'd rather just go full on like yeah it'll just be easier um and so i was scrolling facebook marketplace and sometimes you know you just they're bored i saw this helix lt and it said for 425 475 dollars i think and i was like i was like what's wrong with it so i start reading the expression pedals broken well me doing the podcast and also owning helix products i had the hx effects before i've had the stomp um i've uh i also had like the wireless system i've owned own line six products so i'm in line six groups and one of the things that i've seen constantly is about the helix lt specifically um expression power breaking and definitely with certain times like of being built they have a stronger reinforced one so huh. um I was like, well, my thought process was this. I was like, I can offer to trade the stomp, which has the, I've got the uh, auxiliary two switches, um, use prices. What is going on? I mean, use truck. Use are like 250 ish, right? Or sorry, for, for a stomp? 450 ish. Yeah, 450. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. About 450. And, and I've got the foot switch and everything. I got the box still, original power supply. So I'm sitting about on a good day 475 500 i could you know it's been up for sale and it's one of those i don't need to sell it so i haven't really been trying that hard and i saw that and i was like well maybe he'll do this trade and i even i messaged him and my first message started really literally with i'm sure you will say no which isn't always the greatest selling point because you're already saying i know that i'm gonna like i could be coming up on top but i, I was just honest with him i'm like listen i'm sure you'll say no but i've got a stomp that I'd trade straight. And my whole thought process was also the fact of, I don't use expression pedals that much anyways. I use a volume pedal. Yeah. I don't need a volume pedal. I could throw a volume pedal in front of this. or um, And then I was thinking even where the um, expression pedal is or where it used to be, there's a whole spot there. I could put Velcro or some you know dual lock and literally have a spot to put like drive pedals and run it through one of the loops. Oh yeah. Like, like I was saying, there was so much, and then I could get just an external expression pedal. And like there's so much I could do, and I would I would quadruple my block sizes because the stomp has eight. I so and, I, I'm shocked that I thought it was half. I I didn't realize it was double. I mean I didn't realize it was quadruple. I thought it was I'm only double. I'm pretty sure that the stomp only has eight blocks. Yeah. Um, and then Sarah Beth. These people don't want to hear you. She's fine. Huh? Okay. Thank you. Okay, sweetheart. I thank you. I appreciate the information. All right. <laughs> okay. 
I miss these episodes. Um, Rachel's gonna be I, so mad when she wakes up from her nap that she like I'll, I will show her how much get noise. To well, I'll, I'll show her how much noise Sarah Bass making, and she'll be like, "I'm not allowed to scream that loud." What the heck? Like she'll be all mad. Yeah, <laughs> she's jealous of the toddler. She's like, "I was trying okay. to be quiet." Right. <laughs> she's like, "Well, yeah, but she got a nap, so she wins." I've been trying to say not to take a nap, but that's not happening. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah. So, anyways, so I get the, we do the trade. Yeah. I. I you know everything's fine you know we show up me and him talk he's like yeah he's like i've th- he's like i was thought about thought about going smaller and going hybrid anyways and he's like so it worked out and then he tells me he's like yeah and there's like a whole line of people behind you he, i just happened to be the first one to message him nice and even then he said let me think about it and i'll get back to you so apparently it really worked out because he still had people messaging but he was like yeah, i'm gonna go this way um and he even had people saying reach out to line six that this is a known thing and they'll repair it and he told me that and of course at that point i knew and i was kind of playing like i was kind of like yeah that's a good idea like yeah i knew and I, but that wasn't really where my mind went because i posted in the group i'm like you know how much is it i was gonna i thought i was gonna have to pay to have it repaired I, like, i'm surprised you don't I, even have to pay shipping i'm not even paying shipping they, they're sending me a, a label i mean and that it, that probably shows that it's actually a recall oh 100 it is yeah that they're like, just not they, like putting out there right. too hard because I went on there, I went on one of the big groups that a lot of people from Line Six are actually in, and uh, I, probably, I might be their official group. And um, I went in there and I was just like, "Hey, like, you know, what has anyone sent it in for repair? How much did it cost?" Uh-huh. I was like, "I was like, you know, and I know it's been a known issue, but I'm the second owner. Has anyone gone through this?" And I got two polar opposite answers. One person said I shouldn't even bother with the unit. That. I'm wasting my money because the cost of the repair will cost more. Like I'll be, and I want to be like, dude, you don't even know how much I'm in for this. And I was like, okay, thank you for your opinion. That was the nicest way for me to say like, you're, I know. And then the next person's like, no, Helix will, or line six will fix it for free. And then someone went on there was like, are you sure? And so he's like, nope, they'll fix it for free. Like in a sentence. Wow. And so I reach out to them and they're going to fix it. So they're, or they're going to just send me a new unit. One or the other, either way. Well, and the, the great part too is like, even, for you like you have that giant board but like right having an L- lt will be so like i think this might actually get you playing again like out more uh, I, yeah I, honestly i like dead serious there's that small little part of me that is like this might be the catalyst that'll make me where i'll just be able to grab something and go yeah. and stop having excuses well like i would say start doing your acoustic gigs with it too like because you can run your vocals through it and so you can give yourself a little compression and reverb there right that's the whole thing i'm like there's so much and i've got a powered speaker yeah you're ready like, to go I, I really am i could easily start doing acoustic gigging again so <clears throat> i don't know and this i mean is, those would be you know a little bit of cash here and there too would be sweet because like those I acoustic gigs is actually to, where you'd make more money than anything else so right i really would love to do the acoustic gigs and, and just kind of put that money back into gear yeah. Like now that my job situate my you know my pay situations changed since I was gigging, and um, you know I'm to the point where like that would be where I could make money and just be like okay well this is my fun money you know I've yeah. got my money for bills I've got money for expenses and then I've got okay this is my fun money well, this is money I earn if, for if, fun here's the fun part if that's 10.99 income and you're spending it back on musical instruments it's all tax free at that point because that's right. you feeding expenses back into your business so yep it makes your taxes so. a little more expensive and confusing but like if you're you know making a couple hundred bucks there it, it's great right 100 so, percent. so dude um, i'm i'm psyched for you that was that is one I, of the best like that's a great flip for you especially like both you it's win-win he's back the, the guy you traded with is in the good direction like, that's right awesome. yeah like I, we both got something we wanted now did now monetarily did i end up in air quotes on top yes but i also started in a lower situation too like like hypothetically like, you might have you know you probably could have thrown like a drive pedal or something in there to sweeten that deal but like if i needed to yeah i yeah. could have so <laughs> how about this um buddy if you're listening uh i'll i'll give you a, a drive pedal i've got laying around you, if you message me and be like, I listen to the podcast, I'll send you a drive. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll that's, give you a that, drive pedal. that's bold. You know, you, you drop the podcast probably when you're talking to them. You know. I did. I did. I did. We'll also send you stickers. Yeah. We'll get you taken care join, of. Join the group. We'll send you stickers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so that's what's new. And we have already been going 
we we actually started a timer because we always forget how long we've been going for for the most part um how long have we been going for 21 minutes Ooh. <laughs> and we we've got a long list so we are gonna try to rapid fire some of these um so here's what's new strymon unveils the brig it's brand new kit brigade all delay all right so um the brigadier uh was their uh larger size their uh uh, yeah, I, I, call it, I call it their like medium size at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was their initial offering size, but it, it was it was their analog play and yeah. was the timeline their first. Pack? I so I came the, all, both those were already out at the time I got into st- st- trying and like was aware of them. So like I don't really know, man. Like that's kind of before yeah. my time of like fancy pedals. Yeah, I don't know, but anyways, uh, the brig uh, the brigadier was an amazing. Uh, pedal that just didn't <sighs> it never really took off because like the yeah. l cap got more of the attention yeah that was also because the l cap had the, the the reverb in it yeah and like people were getting that washy really heavy ambient sound and the brig can get there it's got a, a modulation on it and everything but um they're pretty much they're doing smaller size uh it's got one switch it's pre- just like we just went through on the last episode with uh jackson and the uh, Joey Landreth pedal, the uh, the Golden Boy or whatever. Are these the same size, really? I mean, it seems like it, or it's or possible, but it's also the fact of this is the um, it's the same thing. It's getting one of their bigger pedals and kind of bringing it down, huh. uh, removing a switch and everything. But also, this looks to be the size of. Do you remember the um, the tap, the ex- like the that were the same size of the medium pedals. They had the tap and the fave that were the same size, and you could put it right next to it. I, it looked like that form. I don't. I don't recall that. Okay. All right. Having said that, this is a digital pedal um, yeah. that does the Bucket Brigade sounds. And so there's a few different sounds available where they'll kind of simulate the sound of the Bucket Brigade chips. Um, yeah. And you also have the multi, which allows uh, two cross coupled debucket delay lines with golden ratio timing which is a really fun delay that i don't think enough people mess with is golden ratio so that's yeah, uh, it, yeah. it's got trs midi connectivity stereo out right um yeah you can also get it to go into chorus because it has a minimum 30 millisecond delay time which would also make it a great slap back yeah um is there a way to do uh let's see uh tempo it's got so it's got it's got, got tempo, tempo, tempo. yep you just have, it's so, it's the hold style Right. But yeah, because um, it's only one knob, but it's great. Uh, coming at two fifty six, it's on the pricier side of the simple yeah. um, delay pedals. But like at the same same time, I think there's with with the three hundred presets going MIDI. I would I wouldn't say this falls under simpler. I think it has the ability to be simpler. Wait, this but is also MIDI on it too. TRS MIDI. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, that's that was the thing. USB C and TRS MIDI connectivity. Three hundred presets. Um, okay, I take it back. This so... is this is a great deal. It's a great deal. So, so that's really where you're getting, and that's the whole thing, is you you were having pedals just like Scott kind of saw saw it as a simple pedal, but these companies are expanding so much via MIDI. That's where their prices are going up, but their form factor and their their uh, non MIDI uh, abilities seem simpler. Yeah, well, I mean, you also had uh, you had Strymon was it about a, a year ago revamped all of, like their mid size line. Yeah, the go V2's MIDI on... and everything like that, and so now bringing that even to a smaller form factor, man. Yeah, could you imagine if they did um, just the reverb and just the tremolo on the? Uh... My brain is not working right now. Uh, Flint. Flint. Thank you. Yeah. I I will just say this boldly. Just give it time. Yeah. Has have they done a standalone tremolo pedal? I don't think they have. Just saying, it's about time. Um, and also the the whole thing with the Flint reverb are amazing, so um, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, let's keep moving. I think uh, we're going to see got... a lot more from this line if these keep selling. Oh, for sure. Um, EHX partners with Andy Summers on new Walking on the Moon flanger pedal. Um, Andy Summers, he is from uh, the Police. Yes, famous flanger user that most people confuse with chorus because he kind of does it in that kind of mm-hmm. range. Um, this is the His, pedal it's a very lot subtle. of us have wanted. And we just didn't know it. I, yeah, honestly. And at $129, we can all grab it now. Like, it is so affordable and accessible. It is the knobs. 
I'm not going to go yeah. down the rabbit hole of the knobs. But okay, but okay, just 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 give me 10, 15 seconds. If you look at that, look at the pedal just with those plastic smooth knobs. It looks cheap. The knobs make it look cheap. Okay. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Thank you. And I prefer to have some texture on. <laughs> that's yeah. my. That's I my don't thing. mind a smooth knob if it's small. But like texture, oh. always texture. Texture is always better. Kind of like what people don't like mushrooms. But anyways, you said 129 bucks. 129 bucks. I, I would love to play with one. I'm gonna have to check out Guitar Center and see if they got one. Also, I found out one of the local guitar shops is a warm audio dealer. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to swing by there. I'm gonna have to see if Andrew wants to go over to the Open Chord. Um, you know, I I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but have you been noticing? I, I don't know if you follow Love Pedal. No. But Love Pedal has really stepped up their like Instagram and some of their promotion stuff, and they revamped their website really yeah i think part of it is the argument like oh well you know they're not really in production where can you get one and yeah. they you know that that's the defense for them doing a zen drive at the same time um you know love pedals licensing the zen drive yeah. to build them so just saying that argument kind of falls away when you realize that love pedals still making zen drives like that's not mm-hmm. anyway Moving on. Anyway. All right. Sorry. Uh, uh, Fuzz Rush's Pedals has the Tyranna Chorus, which is fucking coolest. Um, okay. By the way. Yes. All right. So I saw this pedal. So this is a chorus with gated fuzz and wet loop. Okay. Yes. So just like Fuzz Rush is going a little crazy, having a lot of fun. Um, unique effect. Got unique effect. Um, very interesting thing about this. Um, so they got different color schemes at different dealers. Uh, which that. is pretty cool and also i think that they should make a unicorn pedal because this actually has a foot switch that's at the towards the center of the top of the pedal oh yeah and that would be amazing if they did a unicorn pedal and use that as like the horn love that that would be like a great place for like a chaos switch oh my god hold on one second we gotta let <laughs> ryan, ryan know, know. <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm like about to message him um but uh i mean so this is one of my favorite things of like so Fuzz Rocious is one of the smaller pedal, pedal companies that still does the dealer thing. Um, yeah. And I love how they do different colorways for each dealer as like a way of differentiating them. Mm -hmm. I really do love that. I think it's, I think, um, uh, I know uh, Big Ear will do that every once in a while. Oh, yeah. I love it. Uh, sorry. I'm so if you go to Music Ryan. 2, the Pedal Partial... I see Chicago Music Exchanges on there. What other ones we got? Um, I can't see that. That's actually kind of small for my eyes. And they also, if you if you order direct, Joe's pedals. Did you say Eastside? Oh, I did not say Eastside. I didn't recognize. Eastside yeah, is that Eastside. EMS? Yeah, yeah, and then the Sound Parcel Music Zoo. Um, is it Cream City Music? Martell Music yeah joe's pedals yeah a lot of cool ones i think i i honestly i like the like neon green one over there at that Mart at martel yeah the if you at... also if you order directly to them um they come with the fuzz rocious branded sunglasses no. and candle sunscreen scented candle that's fun keep talking i'm messaging ryan <laughs> well <laughs> um well great job ryan i can't wait to get my hands on and try one of those uh, meanwhile, um, Boss has come out with the GM 800, which is their first guitar synth pedal in over a decade. Um, this is the big form factor, like bigger than yeah most of them, uh, that does all the synth things. I mean, let's just be honest. This is so far out of my range, um, but it's a form factor similar to... Um, What's their all in the one? SY? SY1000? No, I, I'm talking about like their oh. all in one multi effect format. Um, the core, the GT1000? The yeah, the GT1000. It's got a similar kind of footprint um, and styling. It's not exactly the same layout, but to give you a hint yeah. of the size here. Um, also, they have synth pickups coming back out um, for, you know, those kind of crazy effects. Uh, do, 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 do. 
do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm trying to scroll down to get to pricing, no, and fine. I'm not finding it directly. It's probably like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. Nine, yeah, a it, thousand, a thousand, okay. probably. Hold on, hold on. A thousand. The probably. pickup is <laughs> so G. Yeah, no, the pickup is two fifty. Oh wait, wait, the G. Yeah, um, the interface is two hundred. Um, the the pedal itself is seven fifty. All right, so yeah, we're sitting right about a thousand for all of it together. Yeah, and no, the, no, no, twelve hundred. Uh, there's a bundle like all of it together, right? Um, that's I'm what you're looking at. So. No, no, no. I'm looking. I'm just reading the list, and it has all the different prices. Okay, because I Sweetwater's got some that are about just over a thousand. Okay, yeah. Which I think is the pickup in that. Um, there are converters. I, I'm going to be honest. If you've been hankering to get into this world, you probably know more about this than me. And you're like, "What are these cons doing?" Go check it out. Dive into it. That's I'm expecting some crazy demos coming from this thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The SI stuff like came out with some crazy demos, and this is going to be insane. Just some of the stuff. Yeah. The strings and. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Insane. That is something. Yeah. All right. Speaking of insanity, uh, Walrus Audio just says, uh, "Fuck it," and we're going to do even more. Um, Walrus Audio takes guitar tone deeper into the ambient reverb rabbit hole with the slower. So they had the slow pedal. And now we're just going to go more. Yeah, so they're adding the time stretching modes into this that they've been messing yes. with in some other pedals. They've added a few new algorithms, and now they've expanded the footprint to become bigger as well as going stereo. With yeah, Did, um, yeah, it's got sliders. So Diaz is old. Um, it also, <laughs> yeah, it also moves the two foot switches further apart, so they're a little more usable than on a on a single size enclosure. Now that they're I, on a double I, size. I do not do well with two foot switches on a single size pedal. Yeah, they can be tough. I don't. I got fat feet and no coordination. Yeah. Um, so, still what pretty, size shoes do you wear? Uh, me, I wear a thirteen or a fourteen, depending on what brand. Uh, yeah, I'm a twelve or thirteen. So yeah. you got me. Yeah, I. Uh, but like, I, I kind of do this thing where I wear really narrow shoes when I play guitar. Oh, um, see, I my feet are too wide for that. I usually have to get wide shoes, anyways. Okay. Yeah, I wear uh, I wear like my Adidas like or my, my oh. Nikes that I've been wearing lately work really well. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, so this hits the price point where it it definitely raises the price point a little bit for Walrus, but uh, it's been fun watching Walrus move from single size enclosures to the bigger stuff. Now, a lot of other people are going the other direction. It's kind of fun seeing them add features yeah. and, and kind of go bigger. Uh, it's been really fun yeah i mean they've done i mean walrus at one point too was doing some pretty weird stuff and like um it is nice that some of their stuff is getting more i would say tame but more like in line with what a lot of people are doing i remember when walrus did remember the janus fuzz yeah, with the joystick? So, so that's back when they were more that's when it was yeah. uh uh gosh seth and uh brady mm -hmm. were running walrus yeah. so like the cult right. era was a lot more like getting you the the standards yes and so now now it's definitely been branching out a lot more and it's kind of fun seeing them do their own versions of some of the stuff that you actually see in like old blood do right just like because you can't separate the two companies really like you're always going to kind of compare them to each other just given yeah. the history and everything oh by the way it's 350 bucks um it's expensive it's not, not horrible yeah but... i mean it's not too far out of line with some of the other pedals they've been doing lately with the uh I feel like it falls under those though, like kind of like the night sky with Strymon, where you're starting to get more specific. Yes. In the sound. Well, because so, they they had the fable and the lore, which were the yeah. other two recent ones. Where one they've increased the footprint, um, for both those pedals as well, and they start getting weirder. Mm -hmm. But I also just feel like reverb is one of those effects where we'll just pay more for it because we will. So I mean, reverb has such because the thing is is. I don't play without reverb. That's the thing. I play without phaser. Yeah. I play without overdrive. I play without delay. I do not play without reverb. Yeah. I mean, it's also not unprecedented. They have the descent is 300 bucks. I'm just looking at their whole product yeah. line right now. Um, the fable lore are both sitting around 300. So the slow is sitting around 200. The slotva or the slow or whatever. 
their ver- their variant on the slow um, is at 230. So, you know, it it is adding about 100 bucks, 110 bucks. But it's got bucks. sliders, so it's got me sold. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Funny little boxes and bells, the limited edition overdrive pedal. It's taking to the Brighton Guitar Show, inspired by the Levelers. Is that what that logo is? Uh, so I don't re- I don't really know the Levelers very well, nor I don't either. This I mean, so Funny Little Boxes has been a brand that's been popping up on our my screen a lot lately because we saw the 1991 and then the Skeleton Key. So it's yeah. kind of these like essence of a band in a box kind mm-hmm. of pedals that are really simple and really affordable, and then they sell out. So this is another one of those. I mean, they're they're listing it for 75 pounds. So like this is not an expensive pedal no this is just gonna be something pretty cool um so but yeah i'm not familiar but this is very cool um now we get to move to some fun stuff we're going into the guitars so many guitars. new guitars this week huh so many new guitars so yeah manson guitars uber sparkly new matt bellamy signature model is not for shrinking violets the fuck does that mean um is that a reference to something in their songs I couldn't tell you, and I listen to music. I don't really know, um, but this Your is brands, this yeah. is this this it is sparkly. It has a chaos pad. It is a, the most Matt Bellamy guitar you can think of. Well, it's got to be like six grand something it's dumb. Sarah Beth, Sarah Beth. Yes, we are. Huh? Well, so the, the V1 Blanta is still okay, in stock. The V2 you. is not. She did all that to tell me she's going to her room. Oh. Um, okay. So it's out of stock right now, but it is on their website for 5,000 pounds. Oh, yep. I was up there. I, I called it. So comes with called a hard shell case. Um, I fucking better. <laughs> authenticity made in the UK. Um, it has a PF1 Matt Bellamy signature bridge humbucker. And a Sustainiac Stealth Pro um, is the other. You know, I would say this guitar is. What? Mad, mad, mad. I think it's a super massive black hole for your money. Oh, shit. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, if you have a shitload of money and like the Muse that much, there you go. Um, which apparently people do because they keep selling these. Um, yeah, speaking of, but speaking, speaking of guitar players, where people have stupid amounts of money for them. Yeah, speaking of middle-aged guitar players who can't grow the fuck up, which means me. Um, all right, uh, Tom DeLong launches a new signature strap, but it's not the one we were expecting. A revamped Daphne Blue Fender strap is nowhere to be seen yet. They say. Yeah, they um, say. But they're. Uh, let's see. Um, they've got this other little tiny guitar. And it's not, it's, it's a mini. The mini guitar is a quarter replica. scale of the guitar from um, Damn It. Yeah. I lo- Why the fuck are they showing a picture of Tom not playing the fucking guitar that they're talking about? I don't like, know. I don't fucking know anymore. Like, I feel like, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this is, that's cool. Um, This was kind of a lead off into the next thing. Uh, how much I mean, is this It's available scale for guitar? pre-order. It's only like, um. Uh, Hang on, I'm kicking it to US dollars. It's only fifty dollars. Oh, and I believe this money—it's—it's it's to the stars is who. So I imagine um, this is um, got some type of charity. Yeah, I kind of want it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, imagine that being your first guitar, being like a kid. I, mean, I don't think I don't think it's a real guitar. I think it's just like a replica. <laughs> I know it's 50 pounds. There's no way it works, but you could probably make it work. Um, anywho, but there uh, has been another guitar teased and teased uh, and teased, but at this time it's being teased by the company that's supposedly making it. Um, did you, what? Yeah. So it started on, it started on Instagram. There's a picture of him holding a Daphne blue version of his old Stratocaster, which was a color. I don't believe it ever came out in. Is that correct? I'm not 100% sure on that. I believe so. I believe his old guitar just came in... Was it pink? Uh, the original the original run was offered in Daphne Blue. Uh, okay. I wasn't sure. But, um, yeah. Oh, people are going to know whenever this episode launches. 
They oh, probably um, are because there's also the coming soon on um, July 25th. 23? So yeah, that yep. will, this will be coming out a day afterwards. But yeah, um, it's going to be a limited edition. So chances are it's going to sell out and yada, 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 yada. And a few people might already be calling their dealers to like get in on it. So if you're a Patreon person, you know, get at it. Yeah. I think we all know what a, 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 a reissue of a Tom DeLonge will be. It will be an invader and all the other stats. So. Yeah, I, I, I want one. I really do. That's that's up there on guitars that like I want. I want. I'd love to see like a replica of the Billy Joe Strat, um, Tom DeLonge. Just kind of those guitars that like whenever I was learning how to play guitar, I saw people playing. Yeah, I you know. I just. This was in production for so long, it felt like an available one, but yeah. Yeah, and it also goes down to, like, how much did Blink-182, like, Blink-182, like, I'm a huge Blink-182 fan. Like, I have the DVDs from the Urethra Chronicles Part 1 and Part 2 that I watched. Um, Like, all this stupid shit. Like, that was just totally something I was into. Me and my buddy Chris. Yeah. We were, he, Chris was heavier than I was. That's, like, even, like, this... Blink-22 self-titled is like the ultimate winter album. I love listening to that album while it's snowing outside. Like it's, huh. I don't know. It's it, but like Blink-22 just in general. Um, I'm Sarah Bath. Oh, right. I remember being in middle school, like listening to Enema of the State and stuff like that, and just I don't know. It was great. So. All right. Speaking of signature guitars, uh, PRS has unveiled a specked out John McLaughlin private stock signature model. Who's John McLaughlin again? Uh, uh, jazz, jazz fusion, fusion la- legend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because um, I was listening to all my jazz fusion on the way to the to record today. Yeah, I know. I know that's like your vibe. So like, mm-hmm. I can see that. It's got custom inlays, um, some other custom detailings, a beautiful figured wood. It's limited. It looks to beautiful. Two hundred models. Oh, it's got to be like thirteen thousand. It is going to be just under fifteen thousand dollars. I'm getting, I'm doing pretty good. I've been watching the prices right a lot lately. I think I'm getting pretty good at this. I, you don't think Bob Barker's your dad, do you? He's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, no, no. Honestly, Samsung TV has the Price is Right channel, and so anytime my TV turns on, Price is Right is playing right away, and it's all the Bob Barker did, era. Did that replace the Deal or No Deals channel? Because that's what it used to be for me um no they still have the dealer no deal channel okay i just kind of swap it around there's also the wild and out channel that oh, yep. at least likes i don't know why so, but that i didn't realize they made so many episodes of that show because it's so stinking cheap yeah all right uh you know it's not cheap is get gretch is offering two new limited edition models to the professional collection uh both the paisley penguin and the bourbon sidewinder um the paisley penguin is exactly what you think it is it is a penguin with a burst paisley finish yeah i kind of dig it i mean i still just want a white falcon but like that is it's a vibe i'm kind of into it it's all gold over a silver bursted paisley and uh it's coming in at thirty five hundred dollars 3500 wow it's not that expensive for no i mean that range paisley yeah i mean it's it's the professional series it's not the cheap crap yeah. so if it tv jones classics in it it's got bone nut grover locking tuners a, a proper bigsby so cool option and then there's also the the bourbon sorry the sidewinder um so that will be a flame maple top with which is something you don't see on gretch very often and a the gorgeous orange <laughs> burnt orange kind of a thing graph top nut locking tuners strap locks big speed um that yeah, one comes in a little cheaper at three grand um so both are pretty cool expect to see them later in november but chances are these might sell out so if you're like thinking about them call you dealers now and kind of lock in an order um next up jackson has come out with a randy rhodes made in japan model it's a randy rhodes from jackson if (laughs) i i don't 
know how they keep coming out with new versions of these, but they do. Um, this one's a black finish with what, some yellow pinstriping, gold hardware, EMGs. Um, compound radius. Bah, 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 bah. And priced around 3000 bucks. I don't, yeah. really have, I don't really have a lot to add over that. It's a Jackson Ranger OT. Yeah. I like them, though. So I still, yeah. I, there's something about one of those guitars. That was, uh, once again, uh, the, one of the coolest ones I ever saw um, was uh, when I saw Trans Siberian Orchestra. And uh -huh. one of the guys was playing a Rhodes. Oh, it was cool. Um, let's see. Gibson's Mod Collection. One of a kind guitars finally come to the UK and EU. So, welcome to welcome to having cool shit. Yeah, that I love that G with the um, Maestro. Uh, those are expensive though. That one's where's the pickup covers? <laughs> Damn it, son! So I mean, what? you can you can go to Gibson's website and actually see all of the Gibson mod collection. There's a lot of different variants that are out there, yeah. um, but uh, including a '60s gold top Les Paul, yeah, with a Bixby, but it ain't got no pickup covers. That one does, um, okay. you know, well, a non-reverse Firebird bass and Pelham Blue Burst. Uh, there's some cool kind of variants in here. Something might strike your fancy. So go get the whole list. We're not going to read through it because we don't have enough time. Um, we did not. We Fender, did Fender has come out with the Suana collection. So, Suana? Know. It's S-U-O-N-A. Suana. Limited no, edition no. line. They're all semi-hollows. They got F-holes. They've got a three-tone burst, which is very light on the on the dark side of it. Um, so you've got a Telecaster, a Strat. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Album title name, Light on the Dark Side. Call it. Cool. Um, and a jazz bass. I, you don't see a lot of hollow body jazz basses. That's very rare. Um, these are all sitting around three grand. The jazz bass is a hundred bucks more expensive than the other ones. Compound radii. Um, Custom designed hum, uh, custom designed pickups. Um, so they're calling it uh, a violin burst, and the headstock is also matching on these. Yeah, I dig it. I dig the look. Um, I don't know if I want a, a hollow body strat, but dig it. You know what? I don't. You know what? I don't know if I want or not. What? EVH's new Frankenstein relic series. Um, yeah. They're relic guitars and everything. They don't have the stripes on them. It's pretty much Frankenstein's without the stripes. Yep. And then they've got these star guitars. For 1700 bucks. Yeah. And then star guitars looks fucking ugly as shit. Well, they look like, like bad explorers or like Iceman. Like, it looks like an Ibanez explorer. Yeah. It looks like an Ibanez explorer with, with, a, a, um, with a Gretsch. Like, Dan Electro. Dan Electro had stuff. Yeah. Something terrible. Like the Dan Electro Longhorn. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Have you seen the 5150 series standard? God, what the fuck is wrong with whoever's over there now? They also have some Wolfgangs. Um, I mean, we... S s fucking stop coming up with stupid shit. I hate that. I hate that when they put out an artist's name on it. Yep. That, well, you know what? Never mind. I can't say much. We've been doing that with Les Pauls for years. But still... Yeah, I mean, at this point, yeah, it, they're just bad looking. Eddie, they look like EVH someone just, made them in a garage. Yeah, Eddie Van Halen just became uh, the new Les Paul name. Yeah. We're just going to slap it on something until ride it till it dies. Yeah. So, anyway. speaking of riding till it dies, Epiphone has its 150th anniversary. So, those are old guitars. Yeah. So, they're um, coming up with some new models for this year, which include a Crestwood Custom. A Wilshire, Sheraton, and Zephyr Deluxe region. Um, I think a lot of news came out about the Wilshire and the Cornet and the Crestwoods kind of coming back into the production line because they've been long awaited. Um, 
This is one of those ones where I don't think people really want it as bad. Um, I think that there was a little bit of pop whenever there was like the the whole Prince and Captain Kirk and all that. Um, oh, I think Drew Shirley is really where I think of what there, I think of these. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm not that big of... I mean, but... I like Switchfoot. I don't think I'm that big of a fan where I like recognize... But he, he, Drew Shirley's not even in the band anymore, is he? That's correct. Yeah. And they're doing... I'm actually seeing them next month. I saw I saw I saw them listing shows and stuff and there's only four people on the picture. Yeah. Um so, so these are coming in more aggressively on the higher end, so they're coming in uh-huh. around a thousand bucks. Um for the I'd Wilshire like the and the um Crestwood. Uh I dig the Sheridan. The Sheridan is pretty cool now having a uh I wouldn't call that a Bigsby. What what's the vibrato called ex- on it? I don't know, but it's like got an extended arm. Yeah, and it, and it it mounts really low. Yeah, I don't know what that's called, but it's I dig it. I dig I dig the vibe they're given. Yeah. Uh, uh, how much how much is the, how much is the Sheridan like thirteen? Well, what's also interesting is the neck is one piece mahogany. Oh wow. Come on, where are you? Where That's Norway awesome. Sheridans have been thirteen hundred uh, twelve ninety nine. I fucking called it. Yeah, so Sheridans have historically been uh, maple necked. Oh, so that okay. that is a bit of a transition there. So it's more of a three thirty five, but it's I, maybe it's hollow. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Mm. Um, and the Z- Zephyr Deluxe is probably for a type of guitar player that's not listening to our podcast. <laughs> that's funny. Which is probably not. They probably been mad yeah. at our takes on everything this whole time. So yeah, uh, I, I I agree with them. We're so, fucking horrible. Yeah. Speaking of our bad takes, Fender has revealed a new range of guitar accessories for the summer, including <clears throat> a blue burst hard shell case, um, a camping chair with a guitar stand built into it. That way, even if you don't have a guitar, people know you're a fucking douche. <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this. I get. I get. I get 80 it. fucking dollars. Yep. And it's called a festival chair slash stand. Yep. So so when you're going to your festivals and you want to be the center of attention, here you go. Yeah. They they have the Umber. Is that even a fender guitar that's leaning against it? Yeah, that's, the, a, that's a fender I, that's a fender acoustic. Okay. Okay. Uh I just it's great for being around a campfire or even on the beach. Um, oh, yeah, because that's what I want in my electronics is a shitload yeah. of sand. Well, I guess it's a California thing is the beach. Yeah. You can't bring. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they've got sun straps, which got sun logos on them. They got some new leather straps. Uh, pretty There's affordable. moons on there, too. Um, they also have the retro straps. have some bold patterns on them. One of them has sound waves. Um all pretty pretty affordable, so you should be seeing those in the discount bin at your guitar center at some point. If you buy the chair with the guitar stand, please stop listening to us. Or oh, you know, you're probably already live streaming in the green off, so like we're good. <laughs> oh, all right, that's the end of most of our news here. Just some other quick things. Uh, Recluse Audio is giving away a bunch of their plugins for free. I believe all of its pro- plugins for free. So if you're a recorder, go check them out. Uh, Recluse Audio um, on their website. You can the link that. will be in the show notes. Yep. Um, and then the last one is John Petrucci has launched a company where he's selling IRs of his setups. So I can if, see that going pretty well. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're a big dream theater or something van and you already own his amps tom kelly um you can just <clears throat> run direct out of that into an ir loader with these on it and then you can have his tones exactly if as you, you've been chasing oh my fucking he should do the advertisement the psycho exercises it's like yeah if you want to be able to sound like me you should buy these fucking irs but you'll still play like shit so, i mean why not have, why have not? you seen those videos no dude are you serious i have not Okay, I'm sending them to you. They're fucking hilarious. I can't wait. Like, I, it, like I, you will laugh. I, well, yeah. don't laugh too hard because I don't need you bust stitches. Yeah. So, um, so these are eighty bucks for volume yeah. one. Thirty-four IRs, six different resolutions. Yep. That's so. not bad. 
no it's not bad yeah so if you got two notes or something you could you could load those in there there's all sorts of options so like this could be a great thing for a lot of people yeah so go ahead well guys it's been a fun week we should be doing an episode next week um unless life happens again uh so sorry for the a little bit of inconsistency here lately but we are going to do better um but thanks for joining us go to the effects go to uh it's got links to our facebook group our instagram our merch our youtube our email our patreon which if you need to know that just because you love us so much it's patreon.com slash the effects loop you can also go to electromotive sound co and support electromotive sound because they supported the podcast you're listening to um you know what they say you scratch my back i scratch yours and we don't have itchy backs anymore um so <laughs> i just had that quote from super bad in my head and if you know it you know it <laughs> moving on the funny thing yeah, yeah that's <laughs> 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 the funny thing about my back is it's on electromotosound.com yep. um so scratch there all right guys uh i feel like we're forgetting i feel like i'm forgetting something no i don't think uh, you are. i don't think we are so guys have a wonderful week we will talk to you next week um and yeah that's it bye bye Hate annihilated, every heart is one, love again, so Don't buy